Welcome back to another mock video here on It's Just Bricks. Today we have my Lego Coast Guard ship slash vessel slash whatever you want to call it. It holds two of these dinghies, which I really like. I wanted it to hold two. I'm going to get into the reason why that why I wanted that in a second. You'll see that in close up. But it holds two. One is on a slide system that actually slides under this cabin area. And there's also a crane, a very tall crane compared to what most Lego cranes are. It's starting at the deck of the boat and let's see how high we can get it. That high. So quite a nice big articulate crane. That, so you can really grab onto that dinghy or I use that as a lifeboat and this is like the main dinghy that they use. It's got a nice deck up here, nice cabin. I don't like how that turned out, but you'll see all that in the close-up right now. Alright, so I'm not going to show you the minifigures because there's no need to because they're not custom and they're just basic Coast Guard minifigs. So we just have the front of the hull and get that guy and that guy out of the way. See a really badly placed Coast Guard sticker by me back in 2007. Got stairways leading up to this front deck area where they can kind of spot people in distress or whatever and kind of look out and if they're in like in rough weather they can look out above there and they can get to the back of the bridge from there and to the front so really this is where the, all the action happens and if they need to go into the front like the dock or something they'll take that walkway there and they can either go up on there or hang out there so now we'll get that out of the way this is the main bridge compartment here. It's not very nice looking, but it serves its function. Just got mismatched windows, and I didn't use like the regular traditional Lego boat piece because I had that in another mock that uses two of them wide, and I broke that thing down so I probably could change it, but it was like I needed that extra width, so it was like a 12 wide huge window. It looked pretty epic. But yeah, that's that. There's a door so that you can get on that deck. And then so you're on this deck down here. You board. You're on this deck. You climb up there. Then you climb up there and you can go to the front. Or you can come here to the cabin. Door open. I'll just open the lid. In there, I'll rip that door out of the way. There's the captain, which he's down. And there's a Coast Guard officer who's actually driving the boat. And then the captain is just giving him orders, which is actually quite realistic, especially on bigger boats. And they have a throttle engine control, like some kind of GPS. They got another kind of computer where they maybe enter coordinates or just check on the, how the boat's running and radar. That piece has an eye on it and that piece has that on there because I didn't clean them off. And the floor is different colors there. I don't know why that happened. Anyhow, that guy's standing up and looking. And he can actually, you can actually see them and he's like steering the boat. So, from there they're going to go down. As you might notice, there's this orange boat over here. And that is not a boat that they're actually going to use on a day-to-day -day basis. That boat's an emergency, the boat is sinking life-saving device. And it's on a slide, so it can stay out of the way. You can roll that little roller there. And I'm trying to not stay out of your way. You can roll it out, and then this crane comes in and picks it up and puts it into the water. And then after they have to like disconnect and goes ahead and puts it into the water for them and then they're saved and then it also can just roll up all the way back in there that's the crane which can be used for delivering that amber spring cargo aboard and stuff and the minifigure sits there and operates those controls I have a random knife there so they can cut ropes and stuff got the track got rails over there that there's a spot where rails are missing there so they can get the boat over they can't do it too high and that's also a place where they can board and another place where they can board over there on that side and over here this thing is one of the main features of the entire boat this is how they launch and I want to have two boats one like safety boat and then one other boat I originally had 
three in here, and actually, actually four. I had another one of these on that side, and I put two up in that slot. So I had four of those dinghies on there, and used it in our pool, which we sold the house with the pool, but put like one of those old, like the Lego motors that they had in those fire boats and drove around in the pool. And that was pretty fun. That was a while back though, so. Got a life vest, life preserver there, and they're gonna, once they're sitting in there, which I can just pretend I'm not gonna push down on it, then they're going to slide that down, and the entire thing will slide the boat down into the water. Now, since the minifigure was not attached to the boat, he fell down, I mean, fell off, but if I attach him, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be the same. But, you know. I'm gonna attach him. Okay, you get the point how that loads, and then in order to unload, they're gonna come up there, it's gonna lift, that's less realism there, but, yeah. So that's how I got that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time here on It's Just Bricks.